As you can see, I'm working right now on a project in Premiere, and I feel like one of the hardest things about editing video, whether you're doing it professionally, for your own content, whatever it is, is that it takes so long to be able to edit videos. So I want to give you a few tips that I learned over the years as to how you can move through your video projects faster and make it that much easier to be able to complete your videos. Okay, so now we're inside Premiere, but what I need to do first is because I'm dealing with a lot of footage, right? So I'm just gonna zoom out and show you guys what's going on. So the first step, what I want to do is I really wanna cut out all of these blank spaces, right? Um, that's gonna really speed things up for me because what I'm doing in this video is I'm separating all of the different answers that we went into and we're doing some short content for that. So one of the things that I always recommend to people is you want to listen at double speed in Premiere. You can do this in other editing programs as well. There's no reason for you to take twice as long to do a job that you can do twice as fast. If you're working in Premiere, you can use keyboard shortcut. So obviously Spacebar is going to hit play. What's the advantage of me using Zojax over, let's say, a freelance Ignore the audio issues right now. Okay, so that's regular speed. So if I listen to the whole video at that speed, wow, it's going to take a long time. But now, I'm going to use some keyboard shortcuts. So I just click the letter L. So you really, if you're starting to work in Premiere, you want to become really familiar with J, K, and L. Those are going to be really key shortcuts on your keyboard. It's going to help you move through your footage a lot faster. So automatically, I'm going to, at the very least, hit L once. And at this stage, I don't really need to listen to every single thing that he's saying. But I get that he's talking. And I'm going to want all the parts almost where he's talking, at least where he's talking in this fashion, um, where it looks like we're really rolling. And I'm only going to need part of what I'm saying. So if I kind of want to halfway listen, oh, and we see that it stopped. So right then and there, that's kind of the end of what he said. I can go right back to it. Stop. So that's what I need. So already listening at double speed is really going to speed things up for me, right? Another tip that you're going to want to use when you're trying to work through footage fast is not just to listen at double speed, but you also want to use audio waveforms as your guiding tool. What do I mean by that? So this is obviously our video track. And this is our audio track. And as you zoom in, you'll see in the audio, if you're not already familiar with audio waveforms, basically they're a visual representation of the audio that we're dealing with, right? So I have a couple different tracks of audio. I won't take you through what exactly they are. For this stage, it's not very important. But essentially, if you look here, the, the higher these sort of uh, mountains are, that's where I'm gonna have more volume. And where you see almost like a deadline, like it's flatlining, then there's basically no audio coming in. So already, when I'm going to, let's say, a beginning of a question, and I'm familiar with how I'm speaking in this video, you see all of this dead space, right? So another option that I can do is actually, I can actually go through some of this dead space, and I can say, I know right off the bat, I'm not gonna need any of it, right? Again, you're going to want to double check your work with this. But it's another way to be able to move through your footage without having to listen to it at regular speed, being able to pay attention to the audio waveforms. And right off the bat, again, I'm going to give you one more example over here. When I ask him a question, he basically responds right after, right? So I know that if there's a little bit of sound here... And I have like a lot of these sort of flatlining moments. That means we're probably not at a part of the video where I'm asking and he's responding immediately. So I can also go ahead and just immediately cut out these parts. And the final thing I just want to make a note about, about how to move faster in Premiere Pro, although it really applies to every single editing program that you might be using, is to organize all of your footage before, right? So if you notice over here, First of all, I bring all of my media, everything into my project. So I have it prepared. I don't get to a certain point and think, 
oh, wow, now I realize I don't have the audio loaded in or I don't have the right shots loaded in. You want to have everything over here. And not only that, but you notice that I've organized everything into bins. I have sequences. I have my Canon 5D footage. So that's the video footage. And I have my separate audio files that will need to be connected to the video. So this is just a tip for everyone, no matter what program that you're using, it's really, really important for you not only to have all of your media prepared and loaded in to your project, so you don't have to go looking for it and interrupt your workflow, but to also, if you can, and if your program allows for it, that you should organize everything into bins because it's going to make it so much easier. It might feel like in the beginning, why do I need to organize my footage? I don't have so much of it, but as you work on, you will begin to see it's going to be super helpful for you. You can see where everything is and you can access it that much quicker. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this speeds up your editing process.